Award-winning children's musician Anna Van Riel joins us now to tell us all about her album, Fishing for Stars. It is so good to have you here, Anna. Thank and first you. of all, congratulations. Yes, yes, nice, nice, nice. What are we congratulating? Oh, just oh, the fact that you this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or is there something else you'd like to tell us? I'm having a baby. No, I'm, not, I'm not having a baby. <laughs> um, first of all, before we talk more about this, just give us a bit of a background. How did you start off singing? Oh, well, truth be told, mm. one day my dad cut the heads off all the chickens and I swung on the swing and wrote my first song about chickens who could fly with no heads on. <laughs> That's how I started singing. That's a perfect children's city, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I was just being honest. So how did you get into writing songs for kids? Ooh. Well, I'm, as, as you may know, I'm a folk artist, so this is my... Um, fifth album but it's my second album for children right. and I had children of my own and this, the music didn't stop the crazy songs so I thought I'd better record them. <laughs> and your previous albums have won TUIs and children's music awards haven't they? Take us through some of the awards that you've won. Oh well I've been nominated for two TUIs which was cool but that one was for folk and one was for children's music and in Australia I've won some awards, quite a few awards in Australia. In Australia? Yeah <laughs> so that's been cool but um yeah, I've really enjoyed the process of making this music. It's, it's great fun. Oh, and I want to know, actually, you've, you've done your folk, you've got awards for that, and then you've done children's music, but which one's your favourite? Ooh! Ooh it's, I, I feel disloyal to my to my bluegrass and folky stuff, mm. but I do. Um, I just love it all, yeah. actually. Yeah, I love it all. I have this album in particular I really love to making. Another question, though, is... Who are the hardest audience to perform to? Children or adults? <laughs> oh, children are great to perform for. Yeah? Yeah, they're so, just their little little bright faces, they're, they're so willing to engage and interact. So. And just get up and dance, and right? And just get up and dance, yeah. yeah. And speaking of the engaging, you've got so many different things and topics covered in your album. Is that part of making, because you know, you talk about Matariki, you've got Christmas lullabies in there, bedtime songs. Is that yeah. part of the approach to creating an album? I think it's more of like... <laughs> right. <laughs> this one falls out of the head. Just falls out of my head and then you have an oh. album. <laughs> what about your kids? Have they inspired any of the songs on here? Yes, they have. There's a song on here called Baddie Cat and it starts with my four-year-old saying, I am a robot zombie. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just me shouting because he's like, make me up a song, Mum, and I just yelled it and then it was awesome and <laughs> so I've recorded it. And that sounds a bit spooky so tell us about Spooky Groove. I oh, think we can play a bit as well. Spooky Groove is cool. Um, I wrote that with uh, Liv Cochran who's down in Invercargill and she uh, well, actually um, Anika Moore has a song called The Witch of Makitu and my four-year-old um, had nightmares about the Witch of Makitu but we had to keep playing it again and again and again <laughs> and so uh, and then my kids asked me to make up a scary song. So this one's kind of about how you're walking down the hallway and you hear a thumpity bump and a nickety knock and a chittery chomp and they're all just noises coming from yourself. You know, but um, yeah, but then it turns I know into that, a spooky I still do that room. Now I get freaked out. It's like, what's that noise? Oh, it's just my footsteps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gee, when you're in the dark. Yeah. Okay. Is your is your family musical? Yeah, actually, yeah. My family is. My mum sings opera. Oh wow. And my dad sings like country folk, and so yeah, got a bit of a mix there. And your niece is on the track Echo. Oh, Tasman, yes. And she I've is. seen her singing that on YouTube, and it's, oh, ju it's just so she's... beautiful. And that's my brother doing the karakia at the end. No way. Yeah, oh, we're just seeing it now. It's, she's got an amazing little voice as well. How old is she? She is nine. That's all. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, look, and this is another thing I'm quite fascinated about. Is your background's originally Dutch, is it? Yep. So, and your, your brother, Dutch, clearly as well. Touching yeah, mana. <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot of um, Māori influence, haven't yeah, you? And yeah. And what, what spurred that? Um, well, the language is just so beautiful, and um, I didn't get taught Dutch when I was a kid. I right. can I can say farty words in Dutch, and that's about it. <laughs> and it's like I just really f I would I would love to be one of those people who are bilingual. And we have two languages in New Zealand, and our other language here is gorgeous. So, mm -hmm. yep. um, and I love um, Maori. You know, like the vowel sounds are great for singing, and mostly I write them so I 
teach myself how to speak a little bit more today. Right, yeah, well, maybe I should be writing some music. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> now, question, do you test, I know, because Anika Mar has been on um, the show before, mm -hmm. she tests out her songs on her kids. Oh, and, yeah, we and, do that. Yeah, have yeah. you ever had them go, nah? nah. Um... I have. <laughs> what happened? Is that heartbreaking? <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's when I've taken it a bit too far, but um, I've got a, actually I've got a, a song called One Smart Fella, you guys could maybe say this this with me, One Smart Fella, One, one smart, smart Fella, He Felt Smart, He, he felt, felt Smart, Two Smart Fellas, Two, two smart, smart Fellas, fellas. They, felt they Felt Smart, They Felt Smart, Three Smart Fellas, Three, three felt Smart <laughs> Fellas, <laughs> <laughs> They Felt Smart, They, they felt, felt Smart, They All Felt Smart Together, They, they All Felt, felt Smart <laughs> Together, that's exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, that one went down well, actually. Yeah. It's so much fun, though. I guess that's the beauty of making an album for children, isn't it? Absolutely. You can just have a bit of fun. You okay. got permission. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay, so what's next? So what's next? Well, um... Are you touring with this? Yeah, I'd like to tour with this. I've just played to 2,000 children down in Invercargill, wow. which was so fun. And, um, yeah, I'd like to work on a tour. Good. And um, I'm working with a beautiful animator called Tracy Meek uh, down in Invercargill. And so we've actually, that's what's next. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> um, so uh, this was funded by New Zealand On Air. And there's another song on here that uh, I got funding with for with Kath B. I don't oh, know if you know yeah, Kath, Kath, Kath B. Kath B. Yeah. So Kath B and I wrote it, the, the bonus track on this album called Give Love at Christmas. And it's awesome. And so we just made a music video with all these kids and grandparents and parents and we're all um, singing a cappella and I've got another young girl called Matilda Metcalf and she hollers in it, she's got this amazing voice. So right. that music video is coming out. So um, much soon. going on, so, so yeah. much going on for Anna. Now Anna Van Reel's album, thank you so much Anna, Fishing <laughs> for fun. Stars, is available now and you can check out her website for more details. <laughs>